Hi, it's Hillel Neuer from UN Watch. I've come here straight from the United Nations to witness what's happening here at the Israeli border with Lebanon ahead of tomorrow's Security Council meeting on what's just been discovered right behind me. What you're looking at are Israeli equipment that is finding one Hezbollah tunnel after another. They've already found four, there may be more. As UNIFIL, the UN peacekeeping force in southern Lebanon has found, these are flagrant violations of resolutions, UN Security Council Resolution 1701, adopted in 2006, following that year's Lebanon war. Uh, what we're seeing are tunnels, not like the tunnels in the south, which Hamas has dug uh, from Gaza into Israel, which burrow through sand, but these are very sophisticated tunnels, funded, financed, orchestrated by Iran. They're digging through heavy rock, they go as deep as 150 feet. These are uh, a very serious attempt by Hezbollah to penetrate into Israel, possibly to kidnap, attack Israeli civilians, possibly to capture Israeli territory. And from the perspective of international law, what the Security Council has to realize are three things. A, this is a flagrant violation of the UN Security Council's own resolution 1701, which UNIFIL ought to be enforcing. Number two, a cross-border tunnel into Israel amounts to a threat to peace under the United Nations Charter. It's a violation of Israel's sovereignty. And finally, this tunnel behind me comes from a civilian home. Hezbollah created the tunnel from a civilian home in Kfar Kile in Lebanon. And what we're talking about here is a war crime. It's a war crime under international humanitarian law, under the Geneva Conventions, where civilians are used and abused by Hezbollah to protect the Hezbollah military uh, infrastructure and weapons as they have done with 150,000 missiles and rockets embedded in civilian homes right behind me. This amounts to a flagrant war crime under the Geneva Conventions and tomorrow, Wednesday, when the Security Council meets on Lebanon, must send a strong message, a strong message to Lebanon, to the government of Lebanon and to UNIFIL. Both of these entities need to begin enforcing UN Security Council Resolution 1701 in a concrete fashion and put an end to these flagrant violations of international law which are dangerous and destabilizing for this region and threaten international peace and security.